Um, but thank you for coming. Um, I'm Georgia Murray. I'm chair of the board. And on behalf of the board and the Greenway Leadership Council and the staff, we'd just like to welcome you to what we hope is one of many over the years that will come to the Greenway of a fabulous sculpture that's so interactive and that will be just so much fun. We're, it's, a, it's a real reason to look forward to winter in Boston. Um, so I'd like to thank a few people. I'd like to thank all our supporters, um, the people who help us with money, who help us with coming to the Greenway, who help us with all their volunteering. Um, we really couldn't do without you, and we really thank you so much. Um, tonight, I'd also like to do a particular thanks to Moscow Lynn, the architects, um, who created this wonderful time. To Paige Boucher, the master builders, fine builders, um, who have just done this incredible work. And to Siegel Associates, our structural engineers. Um, it really did take a team, and what a team we had. So thank you, thank you very much. I'd now like to introduce Keith Moscow and Robert Lynn, who can tell you a little bit more about what we've all been doing. Hi, I'm Keith Moscow, Robert Lynn. Um, there, we have a very small office now, uh, so uh, we need to mention Sarah West as well, and Jen, is Jen here? She might not be here. Jen Wu, okay, never mind. Because um, we work very collaboratively in our office. Robert, Sarah, and myself, whatever we're working on. And um, I, I was, I, I've been asked two questions many times about this structure. One is, why an ice chime? And the second is, how is it supposed to work? So question number one, why an ice chime? Two summers ago, I was walking across the Greenway and I saw Kate Miller Gilbert, if she's here, she might not be here, and she goes, Keith, come on, um, have you seen the, the big hammock? Do you guys, anybody remember the big hammock? Sure. Yes. And I go, what is that? And she goes, oh, come on, come see it. So we walked down and saw the hammock. I go, this is so great. She said, well, Keith, we're looking for ideas for something to enliven the Greenway during the winter when things, normal things can't grow. And we said, well, we're the guys. We often think outside the box as an office and seem like the appropriate thing for us to work on and fun to work on. So we invited Kate into the office and collectively we brainstormed about ideas. And we thought, what could really grow on the Greenway in the winter? And we thought, ice. Usually it's a liability, but here we're gonna sort of raise it to another level. So we designed the structure that's behind us. Now, second question, how does it work? Number one, we need cold weather. Um, so Mother Nature's helping us a little bit tonight, but we've got to get colder. Number two, we need moisture. Snow, freezing rain. The rain or, or snow, preferably snow, will collect on the roof, 16 by 16 feet. On top, there are heating coils that will um, melt the snow, it will drain down through the holes onto the steel chimes, it will, it will convert to ice as it drains down, and then it will hang there until the wind blows, or until they get heavy, until they clink together, and they come crashing down into the sound attenuating bucket below. <laughs> and we, 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 when, we, when we conceptualized this piece, we thought, oh, great idea. And then we talked to our engineer, Steve Siegel, who's, who's not here, unfortunately, but um, he started reciting the poem Birches by Robert Frost. And we go, why didn't we think about that? Because it talks just about that very essence, about ice forming on birches, them crinkling together, and then the ice come crashing down. Um, so with that, I'll pass it over to Mr. Lynn. Thank you. Actually, I, it was really interesting, all throughout this project, everybody who we described it to somehow got it in some really elemental way. And, and what, what Keith just described, that, that Steve, when we described these, sort of the idea of the encrusted um, chimes clanking together and the ice coming down, falling on the ground, the, the poem Birches that Keith referred to, Steve quoted by heart, but I just thought I would read the stanza that was so, that was really appropriate. And, and it goes like this. When I, when I see birches bend to left and right across the lines of straighter, darker trees, I like, it, I like to think some boy's been swinging them. 
but swinging doesn't bend them down to stay. Ice storms do that. Often you must have seen them loaded with ice on a sunny winter morning after a rain. They click upon themselves as the breeze rises and turn many colored as the stir cracks and crazes their enamel. Soon the sun's warmth makes them sh shed crystal shells, shattering and avalanching on the snow crust. Such heaps of broken glass to sweep away, you'd think the inner dome of heaven had fallen. And so when he said that, it was like, yeah, that's it. We get, that's what we were thinking. <laughs> but where this, where this really came about in some ways is that over the last decade, our office has done something we, we like to call urban interventions. And what they really are, are when we, we look around the city, we identify things that may be considered a liability or a, a negative in the city. One example of that is when um, Boston instituted the, spo the smoking ban in all public places. During the winter, we noticed that everyone was huddled around doorways and you know, trying to get, get warm in the doorway, but also trying to get their smoke and then get back into the office. And we came up with the idea of something called a, a urban hookah, which was a, <laughs> a kiosk that we theoretically attached to light stands and it would have a small heating element People could gather, it was a little socializing, and then go back into there. And it was good for the people who were smoking and good for people who didn't want to have to pass through the smoke to get in and out of their buildings. And we've done a whole series of those things. And that's the way we were considering this project, that ice, as people sort of understand it, as you're trying to get from your commuter ferry to your office, is really sort of considered like a, either a hazard or like a major inconvenience. And we all have you know, seen the signs that the building owners put out, watch for falling ice, and you know, you're sort of shuffling along trying to get from point A to point B. But in some, I think at some other level, everybody kind of gets this idea about the beauty and the potential that was what Frost was talking about in that poem. And so the idea here is to sort of bring that into the city and reframe it, amplify it, and sort of you know, bring back the potential delight of ice in the city, which is sort of overlooked, but everybody sort of gets at some really fundamental level. So that's what this project is really about. And if we have ice, it'll be good. <laughs> Great, thank you. Hello, hello. Well, hello, it's Oliver Boucher. I bring good news. My daughter, Alicia, tells me it's snowing in Northampton. All right. Soon this will be a work of art in action. We as builders, of course, want to thank the Big Dig who made this possible. <laughs> and Greenway, uh, the Conservancy, who dreamt it up, or whoever is at the Conservancy dreamt this up, and everybody who made it possible for, for the actual construction to, get, to be here, to be flesh if not blood. It's a beautiful thing, and we're very proud to have been part of it. I'm very, very glad. If I wanted to say anything at all, I said a little earlier, the creative process that went into this is, is not only the architects, but everybody who, who is part of it. And, and it's been a real pleasure from, from my managerial position to be part of it, and for everyone here who's added their piece to to make it possible from the structural engineers to the to the people who actually thought about how it would stand up it's a miracle <laughs> um, and i hope it will so that's all. I think. thank you very much for coming okay. they do, uh, have the great pleasure particularly tonight to be the director of the greenway conservancy i'm just up here to ask you please don't leave we have a wonderful musical performance that's going to take place momentarily. But also, I want to remind you that our friends and partners, Silk Road Barbecue, are here to offer you some of the very best food in the city. And please partake and then come back and listen to this wonderful musical performance. What are you doing with the event tonight here on the Greenway? Serving up free hot tea. 
Any hot tea? Yes. On there? Yes. Yeah, and you're usually out this late or no? Uh, we will start to be out this late, but we have not traditionally been out this late. Yeah, on there. And how do you like being on the Greenway overall? Well, we've been here for almost two years, so we love it. It's really? a terrific partnership for us. On there. Oh, great, great. And will you be out here in the winter? We are out here all winter, yes. On there. Last year, the snow pile was taller than our year. Wow, wow, great. And you'll be back next year, too? On there? Uh, you mean this coming winter? Uh, winter and next summer too? Absolutely. Yes. Great. We're a cornerstone.
join me in thanking three-part invention again. Thank you. <laughs> the Greenway Conservancy likes to talk to the public about the Greenway as a ribbon of parks that is all about bringing beauty and connection and innovation to the public. And tonight it's like right here, all right now. The board is here, the members of the Greenway Leadership Council are here. Would you mind raising your hand? Up, up, board and Greenway Conservancy. And Leadership Council. Thank you so much to the Ice Chimes creative team. What they have done is remind us that right here in the center of downtown Boston, nature, technology, the creative process, connection, community, <laughs> birches, the dome of heaven, it's all right here. And it takes all of us working together uh, to create evenings like tonight. But they are also, at least from my point of view, <laughs> just they come together with generosity that just moves me so much it is the spirit of generosity that we think of in this season but it's really in our hearts always and i hope that we can make this pledge to you to bring it to you always there are some uh, very special people who should be up here rather than i and they begin with Kate Gilbert, whose inspiration this was. She is here in the back of the crowd. Yay. But Caitlin, would you come on up? Caitlin Littlejohn and, and Elizabeth Good, please come up. These are the two women, creative powers that brought this to you this evening with the Ice Chimes team. And tonight is not the last of the nights we celebrate uh, winter and beauty and community and connection and technology because Winter Lights continues through March. And I just want to bring a special night to your attention with our uh, colleagues, the Boston Harbor Island Alliance and the National Park Service on December 31st, the turn of the new year. There'll be another example of public art. Please come down and join us for that up at the Harbor Island Pavilion just north of us. And you will see up and down the entire Greenway the, the Greenway dancing with lights, including Northern Lights that's up at the North End Park starting last night and continuing through February. Ah, I just thank you so much for everything that you've done. And I'd also like to say that Steve Anderson, who heads our park operations stalwart team, and our horticulturalists and our maintenance crew led by Bob Stigberg, all of them were uh, part of this. Thank you so much for being part of this. And let me invite you to join us at the Vintage Lounge, talk about community, where the Vintage Lounge is going to offer a special Ice Chimes cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Off the greenway, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> But at the Vintage Lounge, I hope that you will come and raise one and toast our creative team, uh, toast the holiday season, toast the new year, and thank you so much again for joining us this evening. Hooray! Hooray.